Hey guys and gals, Jim back with another video. Uh, this time it's the uh, Bandai. This is the 148 scale uh, snow speeder. Um, this is the one that comes with the uh, two for one in the kit, uh, the, the, one, the 148 scale and the small 144 scale, which I used on my uh, AT AT um, host diorama that I showed a while back, the snow scene. And um, also, I used a little uh, 144 scale. Um, ATST chicken walker on that on that scene too. So uh, if you go back uh, a few months, uh, you'll catch that one on there. Maybe maybe a little bit more than a few months. Maybe closer closer to um, six months to a year. But anyway, you'll find it anyway. So but anyway, I built this one up while I'm waiting. Uh, in the background, you can see I got my uh, X wing that I did a video on recently. My Y wing and an X. I'm waiting for my water diorama for my uh, blue squadron X wing to dry. Um, it's been taking longer with the humidity to, to, uh, that we've had to, to really set up and dry. It's getting close, probably a few more days, and she should be there ready to uh, do some detail work with the uh, with the white caps and all that, and uh, give it a coat of a coat of uh, clear uh, Mod Podge, some gloss because uh, um, acrylic silicone's got a duller finish to it, and you want your water surface to be a little bit more, more on the glossy side, so. But it's getting there, so sooner or later I'll have that one for a finished up video. So in the meantime, I built this up this past week and everything. Finally had some decent weather for for some painting the last few days. Um, this is basically, I um, I did another one. This is, I based it on the Master Replicas uh, version and stuff with all the weathering that I did on it and stuff like that. Um, I did the interior. I thought about lighting this. But actually, my the smallest fiber optics, the 0.25 millimeter, which are only like uh, ten thousandths of an inch thick, um, they're still too big for this size model and all that. I'll pull the canopy off in a little bit here, but um, just want to go in now with my weathering. I did go look at the Master Replicas uh, model, it's, which is a pretty huge model. It's probably about 17, 18 inches long compared to this only being about four, four or five inches. But um, Along the edges of the, um, the, the wings or whatever you want to call them, you can see I did nip off some chunks out of there just like they showed a battle damage on the Master Replicas where I did my streaking. I nipped off some uh, some chunks on there. Don't be afraid to beat up your models and stuff, you know. Makes it look more realistic and everything. I did the same on this side and all that. You can kind of you can kind of tell when I do up above, there's little, little nip, nicks in there and stuff like that, so... Um, did the same thing along in the front there and all that. Um, I just basically, um, I didn't do any kind of wash on this actually. Basically these, uh, panel lines, I used my mechanical, uh, lead pencil and, uh, went over them. And also besides the, uh, chipping effect, you'll see a lot of areas. They had like little, uh, indentations, almost like where the, um, the rivets are, uh, that would attach, uh, the panels to the, uh, structure of the ship. So you can kind of pick them out in this section um up in here you got these uh let the camera get back into focus got a bunch of little dots you see along all the all the panel lines and stuff those are actually uh little uh little little markings that i did with my mechanical lead pencil too so um anyway um the kit does come with the um it actually to tell you the truth if i was gonna light this model the interior I was also gonna go and um, drill out the um, the laser guns and uh, run some fibers in those. But since I didn't like the interior, I wasn't gonna go through the trouble of doing just the laser cannons, um, just for that little bit of lighting and stuff. So I'm gonna do something with a base for this. Right now, I just got it mounted on the kit base, which I'm not really too keen on and stuff. So they're kind of small and flimsy. But anyway. Um, this model comes, you can have the hatches closed like that one, or you can have the hatches in the open position. I got one of each done up just for the video. And the same with the um, air brakes on the back. You can have them retracted like the one on the left, or you can have them extended like the one on the right and everything. So um, it's a pretty cool little model. Um, did up the other underside weathering pretty much the same. Same like I did the top and all that. And all that and carry carry the streaking from the top down on the underside and all that so um it's a, it's a decent model and all that um did go inside of the uh little compartments there 
and uh, with my um, metallic sharpies I used the silver and the bronze one and gave some uh, little bit detail to the interior of those uh, bays there all the mechanics and stuff like that so give it give it more interest like that um, we'll try to pop off the canopy now at one hand and I did detail it all up and everything and it snaps in really snug in the front so you know gotta gotta be real careful you don't want to break the sides of it or nothing but slowly but surely it'll work its way loose and everything we're gonna just set this down on the bench here It's a snug fit, so it won't fall off or anything, but I did all the decal work, did up the detail, the pilots, painted them all and decaled them all up and stuff, and um, some of the small details on them, I just used the tip of a toothpick and all that, but the decals make it look decent up and everything, and actually the, the camera picks up a lot more detail on those decals than you see with the naked eye. Um, like I says, um, up along... Up along this top edge is where the, the, the lighting would have had it been and stuff. And it's just, like I said, the 0.25 millimeter fiber optics and a, a small drill for that size fiber optic, it would have been too much out of scale. So I opted not to try to do any lighting in the cockpit. So um, I'd sooner go for a nice static model, nice display base and uh, all that. But uh, anyway, as you can see, I got the... Uh, the interior, everything's all decaled up and everything and all that. So uh, did the, did a little bit of a wash on the pilots so they didn't look like they were in brand new suits that just came out at a factory and stuff like that. So, But I'm happy with the way it came out. Dirtied up quite a bit. I kind of think it looks a little bit better that way and stuff like that. And again, I did a lot of the parts in sub-assemblies when I did the weathering. So that way when I slapped it together... I wouldn't get nothing run off on, on other on other areas that you did that I didn't want them to run off on. Uh, this does come with a piece of clear that fits inside of this canopy, but I opted to leave it just the uh, without the clear part in there, just like the studio models that when they do filming, they don't have any glass in them or nothing like that. And it does come with another canopy that's molded in clear that I'm in the process of painting and weathering, and it's it's the. Um, one that you can kind of put in the open position, you know, like half, half open and stuff like that. So I'll show that in the um, next video when I do the finished up model with a base and all that. So it'll probably be a few days to a week till, till I get the base done up and everything. I got some ideas I want to do with that. So um, anyway, I thought I'd show you this model. So till the next time, take it easy. Have a great weekend. And uh, everybody stay safe and healthy, you and your families. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks for all the great comments you guys have been leaving me. Thanks for hitting the like button. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.